Akter, Esther, 7. So the king and Haman came to banquet with Akter, the queen. And the king said again unto Akter, on the second day at the banquet of wine, What is your petition, Queen Akter? And it shall be granted you. And what is your request? And it shall be performed, even to the half of the kingdom. Then Akter, the queen, answered and said, If I have found favor in your sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at my petition, and my people at my request. For we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwomen, I had held my tongue, although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king Achash Varosh answered and said unto Achter the queen, Who is he and where is he that dare presume in his heart to do so? And Achter said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And the king, arising from the banquet of wine, in his wrath went into the palace garden, and Haman stood up to make request for his life to Achter, the queen, for he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. Then the king returned out of his palace garden into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was fallen upon the bed whereon Achter was. Then said the king, Will he force the queen also before me in the house? As the word went out of Eth the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. And Charavana, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows, fifty cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, stands in the house of Haman, then the king said, Hang him thereon. So they hanged at Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. <laughs>